Hey, what up, guys? This is Meng with Fishaholics, and this is the Fishaholics charter trip. And we're chartering out of Berkeley Marina on the Golden Eye 2000. And the captain is uh, Captain Kwong, and he's taking us out to uh, I don't know the location, but it's north of San Francisco for some rock fishing. And as you can see earlier, we're grabbing live bait uh, for some rock fishing and link cod fishing. And this is the location we're fishing at. So initially we were supposed to go to the uh, Fairlawn Islands and fish the deeper waters, like in 300 feet of water. Uh, so a lot of the guys on the boat brought heavier gear, heavier weights and stuff like that. We weren't prepared for using live bait. So you saw there I threw out a swim bait just to test out the, uh, the location. I tested the swim baits a few passes over the reef. Uh, I wasn't getting anything. Uh, I think I uh, foul hooked a fish, and I'll show you that in a bit. But the overall swim bait bite was slow. At least that's what I thought. But then when I went back to look at some of the underwater footage, uh, the s the fish down there were actually uh, chasing it, and more lings were uh, biting these swim baits. So if I stuck to the swim baits, I, I think I may have landed more uh, ling cod than uh, rockfish but the fishing would have been kind of slow so here I'm still using the swim bait I'm actually using a 5 inch bad bubba uh, it's the, uh, it's the uh, anchovy color and I paired that with a 9 ounce uh, jig head and there you saw a link cod come and uh, hit the uh, the swim bait. It actually had it in its mouth but then I think the camera fell on top of his head and he just spit it out. And then the second fish looks like a, one of the rock fish that was just nearby uh, checking it out. But the link cod were more uh, attracted to the swim bait just uh, bouncing around. So here I'm still jigging the uh, swim bait around and a link cod comes out of nowhere and he actually misses the swim bait turns around and it looks like he hits the camera I can't, I can't really tell uh, but it, it looks like he just goes for the camera but then uh, or maybe he doesn't he goes for the swim bait but then you get the tail end of the fish just slapping around he may have even hooked on for a little bit before uh, spitting it out So at this point, I'm thinking, man, the fishing is real slow with the swim baits. Uh, maybe I should switch to the live bait. And that's after that, that's when I switched to the live bait. And uh, I started catching more fish, but then uh, it, it wasn't the quality that I was uh, hoping for. And then here, the uh, seagull actually takes uh, Daniel's uh, anchovy and hooks on and uh, just takes Daniel for a ride so the captain has to come in and take the hook off and uh, yeah we all had a laugh after that Right 
So the gear I'm using today, I'm using a Trident rod, and it's made by Chi Fishing, and I've paired that with the uh, Ray Fishing ONZZ 200 reel, and this combo works really well for me today. Uh, the, like I said earlier, uh, we brought on heavier weights and uh, jigs and stuff for deeper water, but uh, we happen to fish shallow, so these this rod is holding pretty well for heavier weights and. Uh, even when I have the camera on with the fish, it is still held pretty well. It had a good backbone. Uh, my only criticism is it's kind of soft for my liking. And I think that's because there's so much weight on there. Uh, but other than that, it, it held very well. So now the captain takes us near uh, Alcatraz. And there's like a rock pile there that's pretty much the honey hole. So every time we drift over to this location, everybody's hooking up. And you can see Chong there on the right, he hooks up into a nice one. And I think Vic has one over there as well. That's a real nice one. And um, Sal, it looks like he, I think he's just tangled with somebody. And I, I tangle over there too. But this location, every time we drift over it, I mean the entire boat, at least 10, 10 to 15 anglers hook up at a time. And as you can see, the captain was running around everywhere uh, trying to gaff in the fish. And this is footage where I'd, I wanted to test out the mini and to see if I caught anything. And I didn't catch anything on the mini, but then when I went back to look at the footage, that's actually a halibut that hits the swim bait. And, and the next one's a striper that strikes at the swim bait. But then I only used it for two passes. And if I stuck to it, I, I may have caught more fish and uh, got some more uh, underwater footage with that. So it's good to know the fish are active down there and they're actually hitting the mini, the mini Atlas rig. So here's another double uh, that I captured. So Chong catches a bigger fish and then I hook into a smaller fish. And um, I think over there Vic's getting hits too. So we're drifting over the same location again. And like I said, every time we come over this uh, little piece of rock, uh, everybody hooks up. And the biggest fish we caught that day was probably uh, in the 12 pound range. And um, we thought it took PV that, that day, but um, it was a little small. The uh, rock cod, or not the rock cod, the link cod took the, uh, the jackpot. And the, the link cod actually weighed in at 14 or 15 pounds. This was by far the craziest striper fishing I've ever had uh, anywhere and I think we did maybe 10 to 15 passes over this uh, location maybe less uh, but the entire boat limited out and we had 
around 70 fish that were pulled out and these are quality size fish the average fish was the the average fish was about maybe 22 to 23 inches So here we drift over the hot spot again and just by chance my underwater camera which I put away uh, was still rolling and everybody's so busy at this point the captain the deckhand they're all busy attending to the other anglers and Chong hooks up I hook up we got a double right next to each other so there wasn't anybody there to help me so I had to just gaff the fish myself. <laughs> 